What's going on everyone, it's Marco here from PhoneDog.com and 2016 is at an end and we're only a couple hours away from the dawn of 2017 and starting January 2nd, it is CES, the Consumer Electronics Trade Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. It'll be my sixth time attending there as a member of the media and this video is basically telling you what I'm bringing to this year's CES to give you guys coverage and to show you what CES is like to experience as a journalist and it's also to give you guys a sneak peek into the industry of consumer electronics. So my entire plan for CES 2017 is to be a little more relaxed, wanna have a lot of fun, uh, see a lot of great people in the community, but also give you guys, our viewers, a real sense of being there by giving you guys more vlog type videos and also some just interesting content of stuff you typically don't see here at phonedog.com. Now I'm still gonna give you coverage of all the latest announcements from CES, including all the new phones and tech, but I wanna give you guys the experience of going to CES and hanging out with the best community, which is the tech YouTube community here on youtube.com. So to start things off, let's talk about my laptop of choice. I'm actually gonna be taking my 13 inch MacBook Pro of Touch Bar. Reason why I'm doing that, not my 15 inch, is because I wanna be as portable and light as possible. This has enough power to do 4K video, especially on Final Cut Pro, my choice of editing software. And the footage that I get off of my Sony A6300, it cuts like butter on this laptop. I really don't need the extra horsepower on the 15 inch MacBook Pro. In terms of cameras, I'm breaking two cameras to CES 2017. The one I'm using right now, which is the Sony Alpha A6300, I guess it should be just A6300, shoots 4K video and attached to that is the Sigma 18 and 35 F1.8 constant aperture lens. It is literally the best lens in the business for getting that beautiful bokeh and it's just amazing to use and having that constant aperture is definitely a treat. The second camera I'm bringing is this little guy. This is going to be my main vlog camera just to kind of give you guys the best experience from going to CES. This is the GoPro Hero 5 Session. Shoots 4K, 1080p, 1440p, whatever you want to do. I'll probably be shooting in, in, in uh, 4K and it shoots directly to a micro SD card. So it's gonna be perfect. It's really tiny, has a uh, decent battery life. Plus I can charge this thing up with my portable battery and have it run all day long. Now this wouldn't be phone dog if I didn't talk about some cell phones. So basically I'm taking two primary devices that will be in my pocket 24 seven. That is this guy right here, which is the iPhone seven plus. And the other device is going to be this guy right here. Try to get reacquainted again with the Samsung galaxy S seven edge, mainly because the S eight is coming out pretty soon, but also it has the other best camera of the year. I would take my Google pixel, but I definitely want to use this guy because it has a little bit of a longer battery life than that pixel. Now in terms of devices on my wrist. I don't have it on right now, but I'm definitely going to be taking my Apple Watch Series 2, mainly because it's got to be my go-to watch and I will still be doing some fitness things. So I use the Apple Watch and the uh, Apple Activity application to keep track of my activities. So that's why I'll be taking that combo. Some people may be interested in the tripod that I use, and I actually use a Monfrotto 190X. It's a very lightweight, made completely out of aluminum tripod, has an amazing fluid head, has everything that I need, and it's super compact and super light. It fits in my bag really well. I can carry it really easily on the side of my bag, and it also fits in very small places, and it's just kind of the best go-to tripod. Now, in terms of audio solutions, I'm using two microphones at CES 2017. The microphone I'm currently using right now, which is the Sennheiser MKE 600, which is a shotgun microphone that's currently being pointed directly at my basically throat mouth area and the other microphone that I'll be using at CES 2017 is the G3 lapel wireless microphone system also from Sennheiser one of the best in the business has amazing range sounds phenomenal and I can record it and it can plug it in directly to anything that I'm recording audio on and I get the best audio feedback from that set now enough talking about the audio that I'll be recording what about the audio I'll be listening to primarily for editing and also listen to music when I'm traveling on the plane or in the monorail or just walking around CES and just want to listen to some music. Well, I'm taking three sets of headphones. The first one being are these guys. These are my Bose Quite Comfort 25s. They aren't the 35s. I'm okay with that because I can't justify spending another $350 on a set of Bose headphones when these work perfectly fine. Only downside is they are wired, but honestly, I really don't care. They sound fantastic. They're really flat in audio uh, and they do a, an amazing job on the airplane and really any traveling situation and they're super, super comfortable. Now, when I'm on the go and need a wireless solution, I have two sets of earphones that I'll be using. The first one are these guys 
guys right here. These are the Jaybird X3s, one of the best wireless earphones that I've ever used. They're super comfortable, eight hours of battery life, and they are just really phenomenal. The other set of earphones that I'll be using are the Samsung Icon X wireless earbuds. Not great in battery life, but they are very, very easy to put on and use. Uh, they're actually my personal favorite from the AirPods and the Icon X, yet the battery life is very terrible. So I'll be really using that in short duration and I'll just have it in the charging case whenever I need it, just kind of for emergency wireless headphones if these things die. Now the last thing to mention is my wireless battery solution, basically to charge up cell phones or cameras or anything that needs to get a little bit more juice just to make it through the day. And that's why I rely on this thing right here. This is an Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour battery. It's a couple years old now, but it's probably one of the best battery solutions I've had. Now, honestly, I don't need anything massive like a 20,000 milliamp hour battery or a 40,000 milliamp hour battery because it's very unnecessary. 10,000 milliamp hours can charge my iPhone 7 Plus about three and a half times over and I really don't need anything more than that. It's super small, super light, and super thin and honestly it's the best whatever I spent like 30 bucks that I've spent in my entire life. I'm not sure if they still make this exact model because again I bought it a couple years ago but I definitely do recommend Anchor for your battery solution. So that's basically what I'm bringing to give you guys the best experience at CES 2017. If you guys want to see something at CES 2017 make sure to hit me up on Twitter at phone dog underscore Marco. I'll be giving you guys a couple of vlog experience videos, not necessarily vlogs, but just more of a behind the scenes at something like CES, just to give you guys a more personal look at what happens at CES 2017. I'm sure you'll see a lot of familiar faces in the industry and I'll be happy to go see them again. So that about wraps it up for this video. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Say goodbye to 2016 and say hello to 2017 and CES coverage kicks off January 2nd right here at phonedog.com. I look forward to seeing you guys there. If you are going to be there again hit me up on twitter at phone dog underscore marco and if you're on snapchat you might want to pay attention sometime middle of ces because you might see my face on snapchat live so again my name is marco hannah from phone dog.com and i'll see you guys in my next video